let's learn how sump pumps work. Here is your sump pump. You have a pit, you have a pump, and you have a float. There's ours right there. There are also pipes for water. But water comes in, water, water, water rises. It pushes the pump up, water. It pushes the float up, the float goes up, it triggers the pump to turn on. Then all the water drains out or the pump pumps the water out. This was our situation. <laughs> Make sure you clean the pit of your sump pump before you call a professional. We had about 10 inches of dirt at the bottom. Previously to us, someone had replaced the sump pump and then put it back, had, re had repaired the sump pump or taken out the old sump pump, put the new one back in on top of all this dirt. And they'd even cut the pipes shorter to accommodate the new height of the sump pump. Well, what happened was here's our little float. The water comes in, fills up this, rises, 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 keeps rising. The pump goes to about, the, the floater gets to right there, but it never actually can get high enough over the pump to where it actually turns on. Like there's some kind of, there's some kind of distance that the float needs to go over the pump in order for it to turn on. I don't know that, I don't need to know that. What I do know is that it was not able to correctly execute its function because the pump was sitting on dirt. The floater could not get high enough, and so therefore water just sat in there for four years, and we never could know why. We never knew why it wouldn't turn on. So there's your lesson. Check the bottom of your sump pump for dirt.